Eric in Lucerne, Switzerland. I was just in Switzerland a little while ago. What a gorgeous country. I just loved it. We went to, talk about fancy, we went to St. Moritz and hung out at this beautiful hotel overlooking the, this, this, I guess it's the St. Moritz Lake. Wow, it's like Disneyland in its, it's like a fairy tale. I mean, everything is just perfect. I love, love that country. Okay, uh, anyway, my name is Eric de Groot and I am 22 years old, yeah and I live in Lucerne, Switzerland. I'm following your YouTube videos for quite a while. Well, thank you, sir. I'm following your, uh, I, I'm sorry. I get confused easy. Uh, I get a Sonic Allegra speakers, an Einstein amp, a Denifrips Airs DAC, and a Blue Sound Node 2 streamer, which is a great starter system. Good job, sir. Um, as a CD player, I use the Den and DVD, and my question is, how much should I spend on loudspeaker cables? Do you have any that you recommend in particular? I do have AudioQuest cables. That's probably what I would recommend. AudioQuest is a great brand. Bill Lowe, who owns AudioQuest and runs it, uh, I would have to say he and Ray Kimber, who I also ad admire, uh, anything that those two companies make, Kimber, AudioQuest, from their lowest cost line to their highest cost line always represent great value for the money. So you don't have to spend a fortune and you probably shouldn't. But either one of those would be great. And there are a number of companies out there that make loudspeaker cables and I would say a lot of those I would not give you a plug nickel for. Why? Well, not all of them really know what they're doing or care enough to make sure that at any particular price point you're going to get great value for the money. So I am sure I'm leaving out all kinds of, so just because I leave it out and just because it's not Kimber or AudioQuest, don't get all riled up. I, <laughs> I just, I, I'm just telling you from my experience, those two companies are great and I, I trust their products. So having said that, the broader question, how much should one spend on cables? I've always said loudspeakers should be your biggest expense. That's where you put your money. Go for the loudspeakers. And that's going to be 60-70% of your budget. Electronics are going to take up the rest of it, except for cabling. And there, it's really hard to put a number on it. It truly is so many factors. Is your room set up properly? Have you done a job where you get the resolution of the system that you hope for? Because if your system isn't resolving for whatever reason, it doesn't make sense to get expensive cables because all they're going to do is have less of a detraction from what could be presented in the music. So cables don't make things better. They make things less worse, if that's a way of looking at it. Uh, Bill is famous for saying, the better the cable, the less damage it does to the audio signal. And I think that is absolutely accurate. So, you know, I think in your case, a couple hundred bucks, I don't know that I would go more than a couple hundred bucks. And I, I don't know the AudioQuest catalog well enough to tell you what that means. But uh, if you can, definitely give a try and audition. See which one does the least amount of damage in your system. And I think you'll be happy. Okay. Thanks for the question. Good luck out there, Eric.